This class is called Introduction to Civil and Environmental Engineering Design. It's an open-ended project-based design class where students get to develop their own ideas all the way from concept generation to implementation. The design task was to have them come up with ideas that would make Boston a better city 15 years from now. You were talking about ventilation. There obviously has to be a ventilation system in place in a tunnel. The experience that we want to convey to our students is the systematic design process for innovation. We wanted to see if a park in a city layout will change the wind and increase comfort for pedestrians. We'll have four anemometers set up throughout the city to look at what the wind is like in different places. We had this fan that was directed into a tunnel. We had a circular base with buildings on it that we could then move around. And we used anemometers to measure how much wind speed there was in various parts of the city. Our big picture, big question is, is it possible to harvest energy that is generated from the traffic flow in tunnels? We built a track with a carriage that had a modular system where we could control the amount of cars on the carriage. And we built a tunnel and a propulsion mechanism that sent the carriage through the tunnel and we calculated how much wind was generated by the carriage. We're going to model different types of light wells, changing the geometry. And then we will take light readings at each story and then compare those for the different geometries. Our goal was to try to increase the amount of light getting to those bottom floors, uh, which we were able to do to a pretty significant degree. The other courses I've taken have been very theoretical, so it was nice having a hands-on experience. Every group member has their own strengths and weaknesses. And now multiply that by 15. I love math, so I immediately offered to do the calibration. The fluid dynamics of everything Paul really took on. One of our designs, which was our offset design, actually prevented wind tunnels by blocking off these long roads. And uh, what you can actually see is that you do get a uh, nearly linear. Seeing something that you design actually in use at the end working, it's a pretty good feeling. And then we turned on an LED spotlight. When we actually measured the illuminance, and there was three to four times increase in our light that was reaching all the levels of the building it is pretty cool. We're like, wow, this actually made like a really cool difference. I think it's about having the students recognize that by the technical training that they are receiving, they can dream up their own ideas and they can work on projects that can have an impact to society.